A photo taken in our area is getting a lot of national attention. A teacher at Grambling's Alma Brown Elementary School has been placed on leave after she used her granddaughter in a demonstration involving nooses and chains. EVH's Dustin Barnes talks with a child psychologist this evening who says the point the teacher apparently was trying to make was not achieved. Child psychologist Dr. Ned Jabor says these pictures raised his eyebrows. When I first saw this, I thought it was abhorrent that uh, our children have to grow up soon enough as it is. The pictures, which first appeared in Grambling State University's newspaper, were taken at the university's elementary school, Alma J. Brown. The teacher is demonstrating the use of a noose to kindergartners and first graders, using her granddaughter as a prop. The fact that this child had a much more intimate knowledge of her could have been more damaging, not less damaging, because there's a level of trust and respect that, that a grandchild has in a grandmother. The pictures were taken the same day thousands marched on Gina in support of the Gina Six. The six black teens facing charges for attacking a white student last December at Gina High, just three months after three white students hung nooses from a schoolyard tree. GSU President Horace Judson condemned the noose demonstration at Grambling's Elementary School. The act itself was totally unacceptable and uh, was very egregious. Um, and so we, we've done quite a bit of investigation and we're completing that. Judson says the teacher has been placed on administrative leave. The teacher told university officials she was just trying to provide a hands-on lesson, but the public has mixed opinions on whether that was appropriate. I don't care if you're black, white, or whatever. As far as kids goes, I don't, <laughs> it just, I don't think it should have been done around a child. I support teachers 100%, but there are some things I think we should leave alone, especially when you're dealing with young minds. We want to show them what happened to our great-great-grandparents. I think they had a right to know. The question is, how much knowledge is a kindergartner or first grader able to handle? This child psychologist says the student who wore the rope in these photos may need counseling. Dustin Barnes, CB8 News.